Hello, welcome to Eat, Sleep, Box and Repeat. I'm Doey and today I'm joined by, and the hoodie gives it away, Swansea's Jay Harris. Jay, how are you doing, mate? Yeah, very good, mate. Very good. I just, on my way, well, I pulled over just now. I'm on my way to the gym, really, but um, all, all systems go and be looking forward for next week, really. Mate, you are, you are deep into fight camp. In, in fact, you are, you're probably starting to like, you know, tail down a little bit and sharp it up on the touching up, you know, before you go fight night in, like you said, a week's time. Yeah, it's last hard week now, this week, and then next week is the kind of phys- uh, phase and out period, just maintaining the weight, uh, keeping it down, and then uh, fight night then on f- Friday, so yeah, busy times. How's preparation been for you? Has it been straightforward? Has it been troubled, or are you, you know, just ready it's to go? It's been tough as. We've had, a, we've had a long camp, I think it's been about 13, 11, 11 12, 13 weeks, somewhere around about that. So it's the longest camp we've ever had, because even for like the world title fights and the, all the other title fights, I, know, I think the highest camp we've had is about seven weeks, I think. Do you, feel, um, do you feel better for having that longer camp, or is that sort of too long for you? Um, it, well, it, we've managed to put in uh, with like the strength and conditioning now, we, instead of just like um, slamming it all into six weeks, we've managed to be able to space that out into like as I said, 11, 12, 13 weeks. And um, yeah, I've noticed the difference big time. I, have. Um, I think I'm a lot stronger. Um, definitely a lot stronger as it goes. You can tell the difference. Um, so I think it's, it's worked in that sort of like way. I've had quality sparring. I've been with uh, the last couple of weeks now. About five, yeah, about five weeks now, I think. Four or five weeks. This we with Joe Codina, um, we said Edwards, Cam Smith and I. Um, one of the local boys, Josh John, done by Iron Britain Berry. So it's been really, really good at us. And I can't thank him enough for, each for helping me out, especially in like they haven't got no fight dates or anything like that. So they, they don't need to really do it. But um, they've helped me out massively. Um, but yeah, as I said, the, the camp has been tough. It's, been, it's got to be tough. Um, but it's been good as well. It has been good. good. So I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, next week now. That's good. And we've, we've given a couple of, I've interviewed um, Joshua John, haven't spoke to Reese yet, um, but they've had a couple of mentions on previous videos. And it's, like you said, it must be difficult for them because they're young, up and coming, hot prospects, and there's just not the shows for them to get out on at the moment. No, I, 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 I totally get where they're coming from. Like, it's so frustrating, especially with like, um, well, Josh now the other day, um, he did 10 rounds with me the other day, straight mm. off. Um, so he's fit that's all he needs is a, is a phone call to say oh, I'm fighting in such and such a date and that's all he's got to do is get a weight off and because yeah. he's, he's pretty much fight ready because he's been doing fed, he's been doing a lot around to me um, Reese is the same he's been sparring me now the last three, three or four weeks and he's been doing six and then jumps in with Joe does another two or whatever so he, they, they're thereabouts like they just need the phone to ring us so but with everything easy now, lockdown and stuff like that, so hopefully June time now we'll get something and yeah. they'll be raring to go, I think. They'd be, and I, as I said, I'll more than ever happy to help them up because they've helped me out massively. That's good, isn't it? There's a good sort of community, isn't there? There's a good um, local boxing scene, so that's good. Right, let's jump in then. You've got fight night coming up. Um, you are fighting Sandoval. Um, Right, straight off, his record, he's coming into this on the back of five knockout wins. Is this another sort of Jay Harris classic war? Are you going to meet him in the middle and it's going to be a tear-up for the uh, whole time? Uh, I, I don't know. We'll just have to see what, 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 it, what it's like. First, I'm just going to have to feel him out in the first round or whatever, it is, or whatever we're going to do. Um, but I've, I've watched a couple of videos. He's not a bad fighter, to be fair. Um, keeps his form nice. Right, good variety of punches, so... We're expecting a very good fight. It, it could be a big age at, at the start, like. Yeah. Um, just to, to because he, he knows what I'm about. He's seen me against Martinez, obviously. Yeah. Um, so I think he'll be a bit cage at the start as well, not wanting to walk onto anything or rush into anything. So, no, we just keep take one round at a time, um, and hopefully come away with a win, and then next shots of world title shot. Talking of rounds, um, so Sandoval has got uh, 19 fights under his belt, 
but the most he's ever had to go is eight rounds. And this is actually his first scheduled 12 rounder. Do you feel like your experience with Martinez and Braithwaite and those are going to like be some of the difference here? It could be. It could be a good factor. But he's going to train hard, and he? He's got to train hard. Um, he's going to do the rounds in bar, and he has to do it. So, um, But as you said, it's, it's the first, first thing for him, first 12 rounder. Um, even though he's, had, I think, the last five fight, fighters he's knocked out, they'd be very good, if I'm honest. I watched, I watched a couple of them. Um, his last fight was, it was all right, the last fight. The guy went points with the strad, I think. But if you look at his record, he's been stopped a couple of times by top boys anyway. So it's expected, if you, if you know what I mean. But, um, no, he did, he did a stem round knockout on Aaron. He did a couple of others, he did a couple of knockouts now. But he's only got four more knockouts than me on his record. So it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've knocked out a few decent boys, to be fair. So. Yeah, and when you compare the records, I guess the, a lot of his fights have been sort of four rounders. There's been a few fours and eights. But you, some of yours, we know, there was obviously the Paddy Barnes fight. Um, and then I know you didn't knock out, but there was Braithwaite and Martinez. They were like a lot higher profile fights. Um, yeah, definitely. Maybe, well, 10th ten, ten fight they had was with the Thomas de Somba. So. Yeah. And he's, I, to be fair, I think he's a, a well grounded pro at the minute. He's, he, he needed, I, I thought he beat Thomas back in all I did. So yeah. he's a very good fighter. Strong. Yeah, very strong good so it's, that was my 10th fight. So I've, I've done a, a lot of good rounds with a lot of good people, I think. So you, d- you probably don't want to look too far ahead, but if you win this one, as you mentioned, it's the world title next. Um, that now belongs with Sonny Edwards. What did you make of yeah. his performance the other night with um, Matalani? He did exactly, exactly what he said he was going to do, didn't he? Um, I don't blame him. He didn't want to really want to get in a row with Matalani because he's known for knocking people out anyway. Um, to be fair, he boxed fast. You can't judge it. He, he did. He did. Um, I, I think for the, I don't know. Um, I think I had him about eight rounds up at one point. Yeah, yeah he won the first eight. Like, I know he used to pit the pat and, and move in, but that, that that was his game plan, and and he stuck to it. And fair dues, it worked. And and he made Matt and he looked slow and not, and to be fair, old. Yeah. Do you think there's an element of that, and not to, not taking anything away from Sonny's performance because it was really good, and like you said, it's what he said he was going to do. Do you feel like Matalani had sort of maybe just gone over that hill? There was a long break in his... He could have. Um, 38's a, a, a long time to be fighting, especially at flyweight. Hmm. But last year or the year before, he was still smashing people up anyway. So, I don't know. Yeah, don't know, but he, Sonny boxed well. He, he, you can't deny it. He, he boxed really, really well. If it's... Um, you probably don't want to give away your game plan if you get to it, but was there anything you saw Matalani doing that you thought I would have closed that gap or I would have got in there? Because in six months' time, in the next six months, it could be you in there trying to chase Sonny Edwards. Yeah, yeah. And him down. yeah and I, I, as I said to him, and he said to me, it'd be a pleasure to share a ring with each other because, we, to be fair, we do, we do actually speak to each other quite a bit, um, especially if we've got something coming up or one of us had got a fight date, so we always have a little nose as one of us, what, what's it for, what we do in and out. Um, yeah, I, I, I've always said that we would fight each other, but um, I'm, as I said, I'm not going to give too much away of what, what, what we do, but I think it'd be a class fight for the British fans when it happens. You're going to want to win your fight coming up anyway, obviously, but is, is there that added spice for you? That because this is a really big domestic clash. Not, I don't mean domestic as in domestic level, but two British fighters fighting for the flyweight title potentially. Um, does that give you an added incentive to make a statement next Friday? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, definitely as it goes because you want to make a, a little bit of a statement to say I'm, I'm next. I'm, I'm coming for it, like pretty much. But um, I just do what I got to do on the night and. I think I should be fine. There we go. Jay, as I said, it's a quick one today because you're at the time of recording, you're about 11 days out from fight night and we don't want to take any yeah, yeah. more of your time. So, um, thought we can catch up after the fight, maybe if you want to. Sounds so, perfect, mate. Thank yeah. you so much for your time today. Um, no that is it. 
join you again right, on Eat Sleep Boxer a bit soon. Right, catch you later, Tommy. Thank you, my friend. Take care, mate.